Whether you're up or down right now in cryptocurrency, you probably have the goal to make a lot of money by 2025's bull run cycle, or why the F would you be in cryptocurrency in the first place? So here's my cryptocurrency bull run on how to F and print, but we need to go over some harsh realities like we always do in this channel because 90% of you guys, unfortunately, will lose all of your money, if not break even. So my goal is to help as many people as possible to F and print, but Openly on that, not lose money. So 90%, like I said, you're gonna screw this run up so bad. So let's make that not happen. This happened to me in the last bull run. I read everything up and I read it all the way back down. But you have to get used to buying things with short-term volatility. So if you look at the cryptocurrency market right now, Bitcoin is now below that 65K mark. And we expect two to three months of action of pretty much nothing happening or some downwards action. And if we go into the 59 to 58K mark for Bitcoin, your altcoins, I promise you, are going to get absolutely thrashed. Now, there's a couple of ways you can make a bunch of money when it happens, but if you're investing in cryptocurrency today or you did it last week and your coins are down 50%, it can suck if it's your first time dealing with cryptocurrency. But I want to give you the outcome on how it's all going to be okay. I promise you by the end of this video, you will have a strategy that you just follow to a foolproof where you make all the money. So I want to talk about this right now. When you go in coin market cap and you filter by trending, you can get excited by this stuff and it can almost get you to FOMO in. But let's be honest, what the fuck are any of these coins? These coins, yes, they could make you money. Like this one's up 2,700% in the last 24 hours. That's a 27X. You put $1,000 in, you make 27K, right? This is nice. But I promise you, once you hear about these coins, they're already too late or they'll just rug in front of your eyes. So I want you guys to ignore these coins, however tempting they can feel, because this shit is just you chasing, right? You have to understand the difference between coins pumping and dumping. Sure, allocate a small percentage of these if you want, but if you're not taking profits on a 27X in 24 hours, brother, what the fuck are you doing, brother? You made 27K if you bought this coin. You funnel it into your big caps. You funnel it into your safer place where you know you can just get five to 10X. And that's so you can turn 1K to 27K. You do a 10X of that, of still some coins out there that I'll talk about. You do the math, it's 270K, you change your fucking life. But a lot of these guys are holding on to this because they put 50 bucks in, they maybe make a couple of grand and they're holding, 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 they get wrecked. So again, we need to back winners and funnel heavily. None of these coins, I promise you, are going to be winners by 2025. They're pumps and dumps. I know the guys that make these kind of coins. Nothing wrong with them. They're there to make money, but they literally just rug pull you, right? That's the game. So you don't want to be investing in this stuff with a decent portion of your percentage of your bag. So what I believe, and you might believe this as well, we have about 12 to kind of 16 months left of this maximum opportunity. But what you need to do, and I've always said this, and everybody says this and it's true, you need to choose two to three categories and go all in. So again, how do you find the categories? You come on coin market cap, you filter by categories. For me personally, the main categories I am in, bar from the big caps like Ethereum and Bitcoin, etc., and H bar and all these other great projects that I'm just trying to get a two to five X on, maybe a 10 X on H bar, whatever. But then we go down gaming, AI and meme coins. This is personally where I like to play and allocate my you know investment money that I get for my active income. And I'm looking for cheap undervalued plays. So here's an example. Brett is a coin that I have, give or take, almost doubled my money on, but I'm way, way past where I want this to not go, right? So for example, I believe, for many reasons, this is a minimum of a $10 billion market cap coin in the bull run. And that's when I will start to take profits. So that is the first coin I would look at. Again, don't buy any of these coins. I'm just showing you examples of what I'm invested in on certain categories, because you can't just be in this category, in this category, this category, 57 coins and you've got 50 bucks in each, that's not gonna work. If you have a small amount of money, I'll talk about this later on in this video, you have to get more money, right? But if you don't wanna do that, okay, you spit two to three kind of coins and you go on them because you're not gonna make fucking tons of money if you're investing 50 bucks in here and 50 bucks in here. It doesn't work. Another coin I like is Resistance Dog. I've talked about this a lot, it's pumping right now, which is fantastic. I like this because the number one meme coin on the Ton network, and it's so undervalued at a $102 million market cap. This coin will, in my opinion, hit a minimum, a minimum, minimum of a two to $3 billion market cap. But by that time, you guys are probably investing in this, right? It's too late at that point. You have to catch these coins early. But again, understand there are some risks in these plays. Now, then you would look at, you know, example, Render is a still a great one. But I want to give you a funny story with Render. 
Everybody was interested in render $12, okay? And now they're losing their shit because they put everything in and they were saying render's going to $50, $60. That might come true, okay? I'm still a believer of render. I've got a render bag. But guess what? These guys are now selling because render is now at $7. And no one's interested at $7. So it's a 2x to its previous all-time high. It's going to go way further than this. You just have to do the opposite of what your Jeffrey mind says, okay? You don't make money when render is $12 and then you sell it. And then you start rebuying it and it's just a fucking mess, brother. You sell it and rebuy it and then you buy this coin because it's up 27x. You're constantly losing fucking money. You buy these coins when they're nothing, you take profits, and then you roll it into render at $7. Render can come down to four, five, even less. But you're doing so much more damage at a render of $7 than a render at fucking $12, okay? Another example is Cedify. Everybody was interested in Cedify saying it's going to the moment at six, seven dollars, and now no one's interested at one dollar seventy. Do you know what I mean? Like Everybody likes to say hodl, hodl, hodl. Okay, that's great. But no one seems to be doing it. At least what I'm seeing on Instagram and YouTube, everybody's just going fucking crazy right now. They're saying, oh, cryptocurrency is over. It's fucking game over. And that's the reality of your first bull run. So the best advice I would give you before I give you more of a strategy is you set DCAs when you can. You DCA all the way down here. You start DCAing again. You don't touch anything when they've pumped up too much, right? And you especially don't start buying and then start selling and then constantly lose the money. It just pisses me off. So Here's another problem that you have. And again, I'm going to sum this up in a good video, by the way. I just have to talk about problems because chances are some of you guys are making these problems. And I made this real. Give me a follow if you want. Appreciate it. Mr. Jake Gordon, watch out for the scams. But you have to dial in and get cash. This video might piss you off, by the way. It's probably going to get copyrighted. But this is such a true video because nobody wants to talk about this. Again, you can give me a follow if you want. Um, but just listen. Hey, it's all started from nothing. It's pretty as that sounds. You just have to fucking build an income. Okay, you don't need to really see the rest, right? But the whole point of that start is so true. As cringy as it sounds, cryptocurrency is a great vehicle, but if you don't have any income, how on earth are you going to make damage, right? You cannot get lucky in these coins. You're, I promise you, brother, you're not that lucky. I promise you. So you need to get as much dollars as you can and start funneling it in when prices are so cheap, right? Your goal is not to acquire dollar value right now in terms of the coins. Another example is this Brett pool, right? My goal is not this, right? This is printing me about $400 per day. It goes down to 300. It can be as high as $500. It just depends on the fees. But I'm not interested in this 50K liquidity I have. I'm interested in the coins I talked about. So Brett was one of the coins I think is going to easily hit one dollar with the market caps being the number one coin in base but i'm interested in this okay i'm not interested in the dollar value of brett same with ethereum nine ethereum in this pool is great but i'm not interested in ethereum at 3.5k ethereum's going to six seven eight nine it might even touch ten that's what i'm interested in to try and get as much ethereum as possible in this pool to try and get as much brett to sell for a better 2025 but who has 50 if you don't have a big income or if you're not fucking working on your goals just like that video again this video is not to piss you off the end might piss you off it's kind of like flexing whatever but i do that to motivate some people just to just get started because this is the kind of videos that used to really piss me off when i see a post like this it used to fucking aggravate me aggravate me so bad right but that was what would take me to start working finding a business start making more money even if i was delivering pizzas back in the day i used to deliver pizzas work at spar and then do a side gig you know what i've shown this many times on the channel which was naked butlering i would take my top off and just pose for photos and make money off girls that were paying us to like you know serve drinks etc i was working three jobs and now it feels like i'm working 10 jobs because we're running this youtube business etc we're editing videos we're you know managing the private group we're doing a lot of shit but i like that shit so cryptocurrency can get you rich but you need the income right and especially after this next bull run unless you're a trader or whatever, you need income, you need a passion, brother. It sounds so cringy, but imagine if you just had 50K per month to invest in coins. Do you know how much easy a cryptocurrency bull run would be if you've got 500 bucks? You've got 50K income, right? That's pretty much why I've got net profit at the end of every single month, where you like to believe it or not, that's just the reality. That's why I can just start a pool. I started this pool like three weeks ago and I've got 50K in here, right? That should give you the proof. Again, I do this to show you, maybe to piss you off a little bit, but that might get enough to motivate the guy that's 20, the guy that's 18, to like, fuck, I want to start an online business. And even if you're 30, 40, 50, go and start that fucking e-com store. Go and start that dropshipping business. Go and start that SMA marketing business, okay? Because you're not going to make it by having 50 bucks in this coin and fucking seven other teen million coins that you're just waiting for a pump. It's not going to happen. Sorry, brother. It just pisses me off, genuinely, when nobody wants to talk about income. 
income is number one because this bear market will come. We'll ride this bull market up. We'll make tons of money. But what are you going to do in the bear market, bro? What the fuck are you going to do? Okay, get a passion, especially if you're my age and even younger. You've got so much fucking years left in your life. You need to get something that can make you money regardless of cryptocurrency. If it goes up or down, that's why we teach this. Again, you can check this out in the second link in the description. You can book a call with me or one of my team members, and we'll show you how to make money with your cryptocurrency assets. But if you've got $500, we can't help you. We can't help you. You need income, and that is the most important thing about cryptocurrency. So again, don't get pissed off by this kind of clip. Use this as motivation. That's just what it's here for. So here's what you need to know, and here's how you can be prepared to print in this bull run. Now, FOMO is going to come. And you need to be prepared. So here's a perfect example. If you look at the BTC chart, this is my kind of first bull run, 2020, 2021. There was so much FOMO. And this is just Bitcoin. If you look at altcoins in this time, you see vertical. You see Gala Games 10x in a week. You see all these other small caps like the Sandbox, Decentralized Mana, 30x in like two weeks. You see this all the time. We're going to see this again. All you need to do is find the coins that make sense for you. I've shown you all the positions I have. I'm sh whether they do well or do not well, I just need to get a decent amount of money in each of these plays and have a sniper focus and one or two will pop, provided with the DeFi liquidity pools, and then it's an easy game. Again, you need income to provide this liquidity, to provide the buying power to buy these coins. But this is going to happen again. All this money is going to be in here, and you have to be prepared to take your profits. You got a second lifeline. This was such an interesting bull run, even though it was my first proper run. It was so interesting because I didn't take profits here. I didn't take profits here. I ripped this all the way fucking down. And that's just the harsh reality of me thought I was the smartest people in the world. So if you are in cryptocurrency, it's your first bull run. If you're up massively on these coins and you're not taking profits, what the fuck are you doing? You're just gambling at that point, okay? You set your positions like I did in 2020 in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Gala Games. You let them run and you aggressively cash out, okay? If you're up tens, thousands of dollars, take some profits, brother take some profits. Money has to come out eventually, okay? And the smart guys are aggressively taking profits. So again, after this bear cycle or bull cycle, these coins will all go down 90 to 99%. You need to get the F out. Bitcoin, Ethereum, they might go down 60, 70, 80%, okay? They're going to go down. You're going to, your portfolio is going to cut in half of your code in Bitcoin, Ethereum. But if you're holding coins like Brett, Redo, like my coins, they're going down 99% and they might never, ever be revived. So that is what we do. We buy early to sell for tomorrow. Again, I've talked about this many times. This is the really only thing you need. You don't have to price predict any coins. If you have the USD dominance chart, get it set up right now. USD dominance slash on trading view. It's a free thing to do. Once we get down to this 2.5 to 3%, out the market, fully out the market, even start taking profits round about here, 3.5%. I promise you, your coins are going to be 10x, 20x, 30x plus, regardless of the market cap. If Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're not going to go that high, but your other coins like your Brett, etc. You get the F out, and then if you want to play this even more cuter, like I'll be doing maybe with 100K to 200K, I'll start shorting the market. It might not work out well, but I'm not going to use much leverage. And that is how you can make money on the way up. Okay, you know how to do that. You DCA, you take the profits out, and you look at this 2.5%. And then if you're feeling cute, you start shorting the market. But you don't look at Bitcoin prices of 150K. If Bitcoin just hits 150K, I'll start taking all my profits on these other plays. You look at the USD dominance chart. And you look at the previous cycles, that's why I've gave you that 2.5%. And I didn't learn this myself. I looked at other people that are making way more money than me in cryptocurrency and in business. And I said, okay, if these guys have had successful bull runs before, let me just fucking copy them. And now I've gave it to you. So set up that TradingView account. It's free. Put your line at 2.5% on USD dominance chart. And then you just chill. But after that, and before that, for the 12 to 60 months you have left, get to fucking work. Work that second job. Get that promotion, start that business, join our community if you want to learn with DeFi pools and you want to do it in a safe way. And you just sit back and chill because so many people are now panicking because Render was at 12, now it's at 7, Bitcoin is at 69, 70, now it's at 65 and it's probably going lower. You don't have to panic. You really don't have to panic. And nobody wants to talk about this, but I'll be the first to tell you, if you don't have income, you're fucked. If you don't know about the USD dominance charts, you're fucked. If you don't know how to work pools, you're not fucked, but it's just a nice way to accumulate for the next 12 months and you'll accumulate way more coins than you could ever even buy anyways. That's all I got. Goodbye.